Knockouts Championship match set for Bound for Glory, and it is a shocker. Let's talk about it on the lounge. Let's go. Hey, what's good? I am BQ, and this is the Impact Lounge. Welcome to the channel. Knockouts Championship match has been set for Bound for Glory. I think you could see this one coming from a mile away. I do feel some sort of way about it. Yes, I was really excited about the Tennille Dashwood signing. But, Bound for Glory Knockouts Championship match after two matches with Impact Wrestling. I do feel some sort of way about this. Won't bullshit you. I didn't, I didn't watch Impact last night. I will be watching it today. But in her match versus Kira Hogan, she did not look good. Kira carried the match. While I do understand making the most high-profile match possible and a first-time match at that, I do get it. I'm also worried they're going to put the title on her. I has been a pretty good champion in my opinion, longest reigning knockout champion, and it would be a super TNA thing to do if she dropped the title at Bound for Glory to Tennille Dashwood, who's only had a couple matches under her belt. As I said, I saw the match with Kira. I didn't see the match with Madison. My gut tells me she probably didn't look a whole lot better in it. But that being said, this is still a match I'm looking forward to because I'm a fan of both girls. I'm speaking though from a fan standpoint, you know, when we're armchair bookers, Hey, how, what does she do to deserve a title match? But I get it. They want to have a high-profile match. I just wish the the build was bigger. They had her in Mexico. They utilized her once, even though she was there for the whole set of tapings. You could have done a lot more other than some backstage promos, which were not good because she's not really a natural babyface character. And this was a match I predicted was going to happen as soon as I knew she joined the company. Now, there's the rumors out there that her contract only runs through Bound for Glory. So... The outcome of this match is going to tell us a few things. If she wins, which uh, I'm really hoping she doesn't, but if she does, uh, she should be around for the long term. If she loses, she could still be around for you know a while, or she could have just signed a short, short term, like you know, basically to show up at Bound for Glory and, and be a name. You know, that's it's very possible. That's what this was because I mean she's wrestled two matches on TV. And, um, you know, even though, even though Impact made a really big deal about it on social media, it really wouldn't surprise me if they pretty much just signed her for Bound for Glory. Hoping that's not the case, because I do want to see her stick around in Knockouts division. I have no problem with her winning the Knockouts championship down the road, but I just really hope this isn't the time and place that she does it. This isn't how I think Taya should go down. And uh, But it does worry me. What if Taya does drop the title? Maybe... Maybe the contract is up. Maybe she does drop it at Bound for Glory and then we don't see her again. You know, that's basically what we saw with Johnny Impact when he lost uh, his, when he challenged for the X Division match at Slammiversary and then we never saw him again after that. And as I said, I'm just kind of playing armchair booker here, but I know that a lot of people share this opinion with me. But, you know, to be honest, there really wasn't another girl they could have put in the match. Actually, I stand corrected. Ruth Mary easily could have been put into this match because they have teased some weird relationship between the two of them you know for quite some time now they very easily could have done Taya versus Rosemary at the pay-per-view but they obviously decided to go a different direction and um, it's weird what they're doing with Rosemary right now because they keep seeing that they seem to branch her off into other storylines even though she hasn't really finished the previous one you know like with Jessica Havoc you know there's nothing ever got finished there and now it seems like nothing's really getting finished with Taya either and once I'll say it a few times, the charm about Bound for Glory is that aside from the world title match, these are all first time matches on Impact Television, so it should make for a good show overall. The build has been horrendous. I'll talk about that on a later upload or a podcast. Let me know in the comments what you think about this knockout championship match, if it's something you're looking forward to. Let me know who you would like to see win the match. But as I said a little bit earlier, it's a really TNA thing to do to put her in this match, and it would be a really TNA thing to do if she won the championship. It just it just seems like no matter who's in charge, they cannot help themselves with these former WWE talents. Even though I do like her, I do like her. I'm just I just feel some sort of way about this matchup. But you know, Stevie Wonder could have seen it through a brick wall that this was the match they were going to do at Bound for Glory, whether she earned the title shot or not. You know, the, the build as a whole is just is super random. They've built really nothing on television. They're just announcing matches. Um, and they've been, they have they tend to do that for Bound for Glory. It drives me nuts every year. I was really hoping this was a year that was going to be different. But all that being said, Bound for Glory should be the 
best one in years. I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, think it will be the best one in a very, very long time. It's just that I don't know if they get lazy right at the end of the year, but the, the, build, the build of the card is always so bad. And, you know, the problem with the Mexico tapings is that they always put them too close to the pay-per-view builds, and you can't build the pay-per-view in Mexico. It's just, it's almost impossible. Thanks for swinging by the Impact Lounge. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing here on the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a supporter of the Impact Lounge. And again, leave your thoughts in the comments. Talk to you soon. Peace.